Today we're gonna to be making a really healthy, easy dish. I know all of you are busy. I know you come home from work. I know you have kids, you have carpools. Today we're gonna to be making Skinny Girl Sheet Pan Creole Chicken Tenders. This one's really easy and I think you're gonna love it. So let's get started. With any recipe, for me, the big thing, besides great ingredients and freshness, are the seasonings. And with this Skinny Girl Creole Chicken, I've got some great seasonings. So we're going to be using some Creole seasoning, and you can usually find some brand of Creole seasoning at your grocer. We're gonna be using a combination of herbs and spices, and I love this one from Kirkland's uh, Costco because it has no salt, it's organic, and it's perfect. It, it, it just goes with so many things. And we're going to be using, you've seen this before, the uh, nutritional yeast because one of the things that I love to do is add nutritional value to whatever we're going to eat. And you can do that with the nutritional yeast and get some great B vitamins in there. So I've put about a tablespoon of each into this small bowl and mixed it up. And we're going to use this on both the chicken and the vegetables. Are you ready to get started? Got your seasonings? All right, I've got about two and a half, maybe almost three pounds of chicken tenders. I like to buy the organic ones and uh, they're already sliced into tenders, but if you just wanna get boneless, skinless chicken breasts and cut your own tenders, that's you can do that too. And we're gonna use some olive oil. So we're just gonna uh, spread some olive oil and then we're gonna use about half of this seasoning mixture and I'm just gonna put it in there and I'm just gonna use my hands and toss it up. That's simple. Oh, it smells so good. Oh man, it smells good. So there we go. That's the first part. Now I'm gonna wash my hands because anytime you're dealing with chicken, you wanna make sure you don't cross contaminate. Alrighty, my hands are all clean and I have put the chicken on a sheet pan I use parchment paper because it just makes cleanup so much easier. And then I'm going to scrape out all the extra oil and spices. So this is our first sheet pan. Next thing we're going to do are the vegetables. And this is the fun part of the recipe because it's vegetables. And I love vegetables. And you know how good vegetables are for you. You, you should have three or four servings a day. And this recipe is going to allow you to have that. You can use any vegetables you want. So I've just kind of cleaned out my refrigerator and I'm going to use different things. For instance, I'm going to use carrots. Now, these kind of look like they're raggedy carrots and, you know, kind of dried and they are kind of soft, but they're perfect for this recipe. So I'm not going to throw them away. I'm, I'm going to use them. And I've just trimmed off the tops and some of the bottoms. And you can see that some of them are yeah, pretty limp and pitiful looking, but they're gonna be delicious. So they're gonna go in the bowl. Then we're going to use, I love potatoes. So we're gonna use white and sweet potatoes. Now the small white potatoes, we're gonna slice, we can slice them either through the center or lengthwise. And I'm gonna slice them lengthwise because you get more cooking surface. And I don't know, it just, uh, is, is just tastier because I'm gonna get some caramelization on those potatoes. So I'm gonna put all these potatoes in. Next thing we're gonna use are peppers. Isn't that a gorgeous pepper? Oh, just beautiful. And I like to, I like to leave them very uh, almost uh, rustic and whole. So I leave the stems on them, right like that, and I cut out just some of the the inner part, uh, but you know, if seeds get in there, that's okay. So I quartered this, so I'm gonna put these quarter in here, and I do the same thing with, with onions. This is a sweet Vidalia onion, and I've just taken a whole onion and quartered it. So what we've got are the, the quarter pieces, and they're gonna go in here. And you see this vegetable bowl is really getting full. It's gonna be delicious. Now, there are some other things that we're gonna put in here that you just typically don't expect when you think about, you know, cooking chicken and vegetables. And um, 
first thing are olives. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love the, the briny flavor of these olives. And I've got black Kalamata, and I have green, and they can be any kind of green olives. With the pimento, these happen to be stuffed with lemon, so they're gonna be really good. The next thing we're gonna put in that might be a surprise are walnuts. And these are almost whole walnuts. They're just roughly uh, chopped up and bite size. So I'm gonna put the walnuts in there. And then the last thing we're gonna put in that is a huge surprise, they're little fruit cups. And uh, we're gonna use two of them. They're four ounce fruit cups. And we're gonna just put them in. I drained it just a little bit, just got some of the the juice off, and I save that juice because I'm gonna drink that you know, while this is cooking, and that's gonna go in. So you've got a little bit of sweet and crunchy and savory, and you got all things going on. Okay, let's look at this bowl, and I'll show you the next thing we're gonna to do to it. Wow, you gotta believe that there's a lot of health in here. And the reason I like to use the nuts and the fruit with the vegetables, I've traveled so much and I've learned that in many cultures, particularly the Middle Eastern cultures, they love to cook meats with uh, sweet things, with nuts, and it's actually amazingly delicious. So go ahead and give it a try. I think you'll like it. Alrighty, time to season up the vegetables and nuts and the fruit in this bowl because this is going to be a bountiful harvest with the chicken tenders. So we're going to just use a little bit of salt, not much because we've got some salt in, in the Creole seasoning, which remember we saved half of it for these uh, fruits and vegetables. And we're gonna sprinkle that on. And then we're gonna drizzle on some olive oil Okay, we've got our vegetable, nut, and fruit bowl ready. I put the remainder of the seasoning in that we started with earlier, just a little bit of salt and some olive oil. And then we're just gonna toss everything and coat it. So you can use your hands or you can use uh, a spoon, but I like to use my hands because it's like when you were a kid and you were, you were playing in the mud and you are playing in the sand and you just, a lot of love goes in when you when you put your hands into your food and and that you're cooking. So um, use your hands. You can wash them. I mean, what did people use way back when? They used their hands. Okay, these are all really very gorgeous. They're all mixed together, and we're going to put them on the other sheet pan that has parchment paper on it. So let me do. Let me pull that out. Here we go. And let's just put this in. Wow, 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 wow. And then I'm going to, you know, my hand can be a spatula too. So that's, that's what I got going on here. There we go. I'm gonna spread those out. And you're gonna see how gorgeous this is. And the flavors are going to be absolutely amazing because we've got fruit, nuts, and vegetables, and it's going to all come together in a medley of caramelized vegetables. There you go. Now, both of these are going to go into the oven at 400 degrees. You can be making this all the time. It's been about 40 minutes, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven, and let's see what we have. I think you're gonna like it. Not only do these look good, they smell good. So let's plate something up here so I can show you uh, what we're having for dinner. The, the variety of the fruit with the nuts is just something unexpected. This will feed probably five to six people. I always like to give things a, a little burst of citrus. It just is it's just so refreshing. So let's take our dish right here. And let's just give it a little burst of citrus. There you go. How about that? So simple. Oh, it's so tender. Mmm. So I've got a little olive and onion, and then I've got some of the fruit there. It's delicious. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. Grab the recipe at alliskitchen.com. Home run. Home run. So easy. Oop, I forgot to get a sweet potato. Mm hmm You got everything on these sheet pans. Okay. I'm not going to make you hungry anymore. I'm going to stop the video. And you go ahead and make the recipe. And then let me know how you like it. And maybe how you changed it up to make it your own. Because that's what cooking is all about. Is just creating things that you like and putting your own spins and twists on it.